You know, there's a sanctity, there's a sacredness in every single life. We all make mistakes. Some mistakes you, you, you know, give, breed more hurt than others. Some you can't take back. I am sorry. I'm sorry for what I did. Uh, I know just how precious everything or Bridget was. I'm definitely not the person I was 20 years ago. I'm not even the person I was before then. Romero's life would have been completely different had only one person showed him love and affection or attention. My mother, Julia Gonzalez, um, the relationship. We didn't have one. We didn't have one. If someone had seen Romero with, with Julia, no one would have suspected that she was actually his mother. There was no love or affection there whatsoever. Like he was an animal. He didn't exist to her. Romero was nine years old when he would drink. They would tell Romero, oh, come on, you can be the man, be a man. And there was, he was never given a birthday party. He never had someone tuck him into bed or tell him good night. He had the bare minimum of what, what a, a human being could have to survive. There was a lot of sexual abuse in the family. And it was not talked about, it was never stopped because that abuse continued on to the next generation, which was Romero and me. Slammed up against the wall, grabbed by the throat and picked up and told it, you're not even a man, you're never gonna go through a man. You don't even know why you're here. I had to deal with the fact of how to correct it as much as I could. Finding ways to not only better myself, but contribute. Romero has a friend. She was the first real person to show him love and affection. It's made a whole world of difference in him. I live in Toronto, Ontario with my family, and I am a minister with the United Church of Canada. There are a lot of people who have been very positively affected by being in relationship with Romero. Romero makes people's lives better, and that effect just moves out into the world. His life is very centered around prayer. It's been really moving to see how concerned he is in every single letter that I receive about my well-being, about my family's well-being, about my children's well-being. It's really tough to think about Romero being executed because Romero's never had a life. He was never given a life. He was never given a chance. Romero is just now being shown love and friendship. For the first time in his life, he has people that care about him. Having a support system has paid dividends to my sanity, my spirituality, hope, and it's become a driving force for more change. When you execute me, you're not executing me for my mistakes anymore. I'm better. I made myself better. I made myself greater. Um, I've overcome, and I'm proud of myself. So if I was to be executed, then, you know, again, I'll, I'll apologize for my mistakes and, and, um, I think fulfillment would be the word.